In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape and monitor any website with a easy to use, no code solution called browse.ai. My name is Andy O'Neill and I help entrepreneurs like you add time saving automation to their business. Please check the description for a link to sign up for my weekly newsletter, as well as how to get help with your make scenarios one on one with myself or a member of my team. As always, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you like content like you're seeing right now. All right, so I'm over here on Henry's House of Coffee, a website that I'm familiar with that sells locally roasted high quality coffee. We're going to look at how to scrape the coffee pages and information from this site and then set up a monitor that will tell you when things change. Let's head over here to shop and let's go to coffee. All right, so here is the main coffee page. Now we want to scrape. As you can see, we have multiple coffee products on here. We're going to scrape those and then we're also going to get the URL of those sales pages and you could actually build a second automation on top of this that would go to each page and scrape the information from that page. For this video, I'm going to be using Browse AI, which has a pretty nice free plan and the paid plans are actually not that expensive for what it does. This is an AI driven extraction tool for websites. And you can easily set this up and, like I said, automate the output into other processes. All right, so I'm in here in my Browse AI dashboard. Uh, you get five robots on the free plan, so we're going to build the fifth one here. I've got some that I've built already before. But I'm going to click Build New Robot. And this, uh, this site has this little cute little guy that follows you around, which is slightly creepy. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to copy the URL of that coffee page and I'm going to come back here and paste it in my origin URL. If this was a site that you need to log in, they would they will support that. Uh, you can do that with session cookies or actually give it credentials to log in. Henry's House of Coffee is just an e-commerce site and there's no login. So we're going to train this robot just on that particular site. So I start training and I'm going to use the Chrome extension here. You will have to install a Chrome extension uh, in your browser to use this. So right here, we've got the robot that is telling us to extract structured data from the page. Click on capture text or list of items. You can just click OK on that and proceed. We're going to click and we're going to do we're going to capture list. Capturing a list is what we have on this page because we have multiple things, multiple products. If we were on the actual coffee page, we would want to just capture text, which would be the price, the information, that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you how to do a capture list. And so we're going to scroll down here and we want to tell it what the list is we're going to get. So we want to kind of hover around. Um, if you think about web design a little bit, everything is in a box. So a small box is in a bigger box, a bigger box, a bigger box. So what I've done here is I've hovered over the box that contains the entire item of this product. And I'm going to click that. So what I've done is I've told uh, the, the browser, browser AI, that that is the box we're going to work with for our lists. All right, so I'm going to click right here on this image and you get multiple options with an image. You get the uh, image URL, which I'm going to click that. I'd like to get that. And then I'm going to click on the image again, but I'm going to just get the text here. And so I'm done with that. So now I'm going to hover over here and I got to move. There we go right there. And I want to get the, uh, I want to capture the link and again, and I'm going to, it's finicky. Go capture something else instead. Let's click this, try it over here. There we go. Now I want capture visible, visible text. Again, those, those divs and those squares, those boxes, uh, are, are sometimes not much bigger than the one inside of it. So you have to really get down there and get a hold of that. Uh, we're going to get the ratings. And I wonder what the... I don't think we can get the rating stars. And then we're going to get the pricing here. All right, so when I'm done, all I have to do is click Enter to finish. And I'm going to click Enter. So now what it's going to do, it's going to go back to all those things we selected and ask me to name them. All right, so enter the name for this image URL. I'm going to say coffee image URL and hit enter. Now it's asking me for the alternate text, coffee image alt text. 
Next, we're going to do the, this is for the link. So this is the copy page link. Now we're doing copy name, say copy product. Next, we're going to say the attributes and then ratings and then the price range. All right, so we're done. Now what this has done is it pulled up the data that it's extracted from this page. All right, you can see there are several lines here. This is all the coffee. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to need to give this a name. So Henry's Coffee. All right, I'm giving that a name. And now what's the maximum number of rows you want to extract? Uh, I'm just going to do 100. There wasn't 100 on there, but that will make sure we get everything. And then it's going to say, please select the pagination type. So when I was on this page earlier, I noticed that when I scrolled down, it loaded more items. So I'm going to select that right there. Then I'm going to click capture list. And then right up here, I'm going to finish recording. You could continue capturing if you needed more data, but I'm going to finish recording. So what this is going to do, it's going to process and it's going to take us back to a browser bot website and uh, it's going to run this after we save this. So it's going to give us, give it a name. I'm going to hit save. And now it's going to run this in the background uh, for real, just like it would normally. So this did take quite some time to do this, uh, maybe three or four minutes. And uh, here are our results. You can see here's the one back on our page. This is a order with a text, so this actually didn't have the same kind of data. So here are images, here's our alt tags, all the data we mapped out in that page. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. Actually, you scroll down to the bottom and you say, yes, this looks good. You can retrain this robot. Uh, you can report an issue, which you can submit de details to their support team. But this actually looks good and it looks like it ran. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to set up monitoring. So what monitoring does is it allows you to watch this site for changes. So you can create a new monitor, uh, run it every however many days, weeks, months, hours, minutes. You can pick the days. You know, we can just say, let's run this on Wednesdays. And you can say any time or you can pick a time if that matters to you. Notify me if there's a change in the captured text. So this will just send you an email letting you know something has changed in the text. The other thing you can do is you can integrate this and you can do that with make.com. I'm not going to go into that or probably do that in a different video because that will, that gets a little more involved, but you can do this to a Google sheet. So I'm going to click enable syncing to a Google sheet and I'm going to choose my authorized account. I'm actually going to have it create a new sheet, Henry's coffee, YouTube. And I can edit the mappings here, but I'm going to just leave those alone and I'll go right down here and I'll say create spreadsheet and activate integration. All right. So every time this robot runs, it's going to add data to the Google Sheet. So let me open that Google Sheet and right now it's blank. So we're going to go back and I'm going to run. So run a task. So this is going to rerun everything and it's going to drop our results into that Google Sheet. All right, you can see our job finished again. Looks just like it did before. Let's go look at our Google Sheet and you can see it added a new tab to this sheet and added that data directly into the sheet. So this works flawlessly. I've tested it before and it works really well. So what's going to happen is when that task runs again, if it finds changes, it's going to add those changes down here to the bottom of this Google Sheet. I hope you've enjoyed this video, learning how to scrape data. If you want one-on-one -on -one help with make.com scenarios, you can get help from myself or a member of my team by checking out the description and clicking on the link there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.